The St. Patrick's Day celebration has been around for thousands of years, and by the looks of things, the saint has still got his lucky charm, especially in Manchester, and it's not the weather. Hundreds of people took to the streets, including many who came to visit from abroad. I'm loving the people, the atmosphere, great beer, and just everyone's happy. So that's the best part. Albert Square Own Irish Market carried on the day's events with entertainment, food and Irish celebrations. I think it's a um, very diverse city and the Irish have played a massive part in Manchester and the, the building up of Manchester years ago. Yeah, it's such good crack, isn't it? It's, there's plenty of people around and there's plenty of drink and it's all about the crack. Hi. It's our heritage and it's, um, it's our roots really. Meanwhile, over at St. Kentigan's Irish Club, there were also many special sights and sounds, as many were out to try and master the art of the Cayley, an Irish tradition which features different folk dances. Some of the people here here because they're really keen uh, on folk dancing, different traditions of folk dancing. Then people come and they have a great time and then so they keep coming and I guess it's kind of like people get to know by word of mouth how, how much fun it is and that's why they keep coming I guess. Kevin Fitzpatrick who runs the club even gave us a lesson in how to make the perfect head on a pint of Guinness. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. Thanks very much for coming to the monthly Cayley at St. Kentigan's. You're more than welcome for the next month's coming but most of all you might as well try a pint of Guinness. 1759 is a long, long time ago, so uh, if it wasn't for Guinness, you wouldn't be all as happy as you are tonight. <laughs> After many people joined in with the celebrations, the day had its main highlight when the parade marched through the heart of Manchester, covering the city in a wave of green and traditional Irish icons. Bradley Harris, Keys TV News.